Welcome students, parents, guests, and faculty. We're excited to get together tonight for our second annual Senior Awards Night. Tonight we get to honor and recognize our graduating class for their many academic and extracurricular successes that you have achieved throughout the years. We are pleased that you are able to join us tonight and we're eager to get started. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm honored to be part of this most wonderful event. Tonight's format's going to be a little dif different than it's been in the past. In tonight's presentation, we'll award scholarships student by student, and we thought we would explain how we're going to do that. So, so tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to explain a few of the awards and scholarships that are going to be um, that are going to be out. So we're going to start with white cord hours. Many of our students are receiving a white cord for graduation for 60 hours of community service. White cords for community service is designed to encourage and recognize students who strive and achieve a high level of service in our West Marshall communities. Service builds strong ties between school and communities. It encourages students to experience an important part of their school and community. It helps them recognize that by being part of the whole community, they can make a positive. The Citizenship Award is an honor based on how students display their high character throughout the school setting. Teachers vote on, on each student in order to receive this award. You must be nominated by six different teachers. FFA makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. It increases the awareness of global and technological importance of agricultures and its contribution to our well-being. FFA is our largest student organization in the West Marshall School District. Our FFA program is one of the most active chapters in the state with our contributions through contests and our large presence at the Central Iowa Fair and the Iowa State Fair. Mr. Jason Carolyn and Ms. Anna Brooks are West Marshall's Ag Education teachers. Students who are members in FFA their senior year, year earn an FFA cord. As you will see tonight, many of our West Marshall seniors are also FFA members. In addition, we'll be honoring Honor 4-H cords this evening. West Marshall has a great participation in 4-H. In fact, tonight we'll honor three graduates who will receive a $1,000 Central Iowa Fair scholarship that is given to Marshall County students who have participated in the Central Iowa Fair and are active Tonight we will also be honoring our honor students who have a cumulative GPA of 3.5 and above. Honor students will wear a special medal during the graduation ceremony to represent, represent their academic successes. In Marshall County, there are two awards that will be given to the highest achieving academic students. The first is the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Scholastic Achievement Award. This is included with the top 3% of each graduating class from Marshall County Schools. These students are recognized for their excellence in education by the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce at their annual Scholastic Awards Banquet. Additionally, the Marshalltown, the Marshalltown Times Republican features Marshall County students and areas from area schools. West Marshall has five students who were honored through their, for their scholastic achievement. Finally, in a nor the North Iowa Cedar League, the NICL Conference, has a recognition for top students from each graduating class for the schools within the conference. The top five students from each school based on GPA were recognized and honored. Tonight, 44 of our West Marshall graduates applied and received scholarships through the West Marshall Foundation. As you look at the program and see the endowments, scholarships, and community support, it is humbling that the community and family supports education and the betterment of our students. The West Marshall Foundation is quite a remarkable group, and this year we had the most remarkable thing happen. A man by the name of Fred Floyd M. Herzog, who was a Melbourne area farmer and a member of the St. John United Church of Christ, left a considerable amount of money to the West Marshall Foundation in the form of an endowment. This year, we were able to give each and every one of the students who applied for the West Marshall Foundation an additional $500 in scholarship monies. That is nearly $20,000 worth of scholarships to our West Marshall students. The St. John United Church of Christ has worked tirelessly to bequeath this educational endowment to the students of West Marshall. Thank you for your support of our students. 
Without further ado, we will start our senior awards ceremony. The first student is Jessely Ash. Jessely's future plans are to attend Grandview University to study nursing with an emphasis in pediatrics. Her general scholarships are the Director's Academic Scholarship from Grandview University, Tyson's 4-H Scholarship, Marshall County Youth Ambassadors, and Central Iowa Fair Scholarship. Her Mar West Marshall Awards include White Cord Recipient, FFA Cord Recipient, 4-H Cord Recipient, and she was also a West, uh, received the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, she has received the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Our next senior is Tanner Beals. Tanner's future plans are to serve in the United States Marine Corps. After his service, Tanner plans to be an electrician. Our next senior is Colton Behrens. Colton's future plans are to serve in the United States Air Force. Colton is receiving West Marshall Awards uh, to the, uh, as a White Cord honor. He's also receiving FFA cords, and he's received the West Marshall Citizenship Awards. Connor Bacchus' future plans are to attend MCC for an AA degree and then attend the Iowa Police Academy. He's receiving a white cord recipient. He's a white cord recipient for 60 hours of community service and is receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Brady Bolkema is our next senior. His future plans are to become a police officer. Blaise Bouchard, a senior at West Marshall, has future plans to attend Iowa Lakes Community College for wind energy and turbine technology. He's receiving West Marshall Awards in, uh, as, a, as an FFA Honor Cord recipient and has received the West Marshall Citizenship Award. He's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Carly Bounds' future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College for one year and then transfer to either New York University or UCLA to major in international business. Carly Bound is receiving the following scholarships. Carly will receive a Marshalltown Community College full tuition scholarship as a salutatorian. She'll be receiving the Marshalltown Community College ACT scholarship of $500. For West Marshall Awards, she's receiving a white cord, a Student Council Leadership Award, West Marshall co salutatorian West Marshall Honor Graduate, NICL Academic Award, Times Republican Leaders of Tomorrow, Marshall County Scholastic Achievement Award, and a West Marshall Citizenship Award. She'll be receiving the following West Marshall scholarships for foundation. Our next senior is Jessica Buckley. Her future plans are to attend Simpson College to major in graphic design and marketing. Later, she hopes to attend art, an art school to emphasize in storyboarding. The West Marshall Awards that she'll be receiving are White Cord Honors for Community Service, FFA Cords, 4-H Cords, and she's also earned the West Marshall Citizenship Award. She has received the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Catherine Carcuff's future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College to study nursing. She's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Autumn Carr. Autumn's future plans are to attend the University of Iowa with a major in psychology. Autumn would like to become a child psychologist. Autumn's general scholarships include the University of Iowa Academic Success Scholarship of $6,000 and a University of Iowa, Iowa Scholars Award of $2,500. She's also receiving a White Cord, a West Marshall Citizenship Award, a Student Council Leadership Award, NHS Member, FFA Honor Cord, West Marshall Graduate, and she's receiving the John Philip Sousa Award. Each year, the West Marshall Band Program nominates one candidate for musical excellence. Anum has been the drum majorette and has participated in numerous contests over the year. She's a leader in the classroom, on the field, and in her everyday life. She's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Logan Coulter. His future plans are to attend Iowa State University for electrical and mechanical engineering. He's a West Marshall Award recipient for White Cord for 60 hours of community service, 
and also the West Marshall Citizenship Award. He's received the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Morgan Cripps' future plans are to attend the Aveda Institute to study massage therapy. She's receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service and an FFA honor cord. She's she is going to be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Dylan Dare, senior at West Marshall's future plans are to become a mechanic. Nicole Davis' future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College to study nursing. She's received the, fo the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Elena Dolly. Her future plans are to attend the University of Iowa and study speech and hearing science. Sure general scholarships are the University of Iowa Advantage Iowa Scholarship for 8,000 over the next four years. She's also received White Cord Hours, or White, the White Cord Recipient, Student Council Leadership Award. She's the NHS President. She's a West Marshall Honor Graduate and received the West Marshall Citizenship Award. She's also received the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, which was given to her by Mr. Drake Van Roekel for her excellence in jazz band and her leadership in the music program. She's received the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Grace Denai. Grace's future plans are to attend Iowa State University in the fall and major in animal science. Each year, all Iowa schools choose one student to repre represent their student as a student of integrity. I'm very pleased to announce that West Marshall's Class of 2020 nominee is Grace Denai. Grace is also receiving the E. Wayne Cooley Award. Each year, West Marshall High School nominates a female student athlete to be recognized for her outstanding accomplishments in achieving and mastering the criteria necessary to be considered among the elite of the Iowa girl. This year, the award is presented to Grace Sinai for her discipline, perseverance, athletic skill, leadership, academic achievement, and citizenship. In addition, uh, Grace will be receiving the Marshall County Pork Producer Scholarship of $500, the Iowa State Forever Scholarship Award for $10,000 over four years. She's a White Cord recipient, Student Council Leadership Award, West Marshall Citizenship Award, NHS member, FFA Honor Cord, NICL Academic Award, West Marshall Co Salutatorian, Times Republican Leader of Tomorrow and the Marshall County Scholastic Achievement Award. Congratulations, Grace. Grace will be receiving the, the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Darian Dennis. Her future plans are to attend Iowa, the University of Iowa to study fine art and publishing. She's receiving general scholarships to the University of Iowa through the Iowa Flagship Award for $36,000 over the next four years, the Iowa Center for the Arts Scholarship for $3,765, the Iowa Scholarship for the Arts for $1,500. She's also a White Cord recipient, a West Marshall Honor graduate, and receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, she's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Teresa Disney's future plans are to attend Warford College, play volleyball for two years, and continue studying human, human sciences. After Warford, Teresa will transfer to Palmer College of Chiropractic in hopes to become a chiropractor with a minor in business and finance. She's receiving the general scholarship to Warford for $25,000 a year for four years. She's also a White Cord recipient, an honor graduate, and receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, she's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next graduate is Cora Dolly. Her future plans are to attend the Aveda Institute to study Essiology. She is receiving a West Marshall FFA Honor Cord. Our next graduate is Robin Edler. Robin's future plans are to remain a citizen of State Center. Robin has several job offers and will remain an active member of our community. She's receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service, a West Marshall Citizenship Award, and she's a West Marshall Honor Graduate. Our next senior is Justin Evans. His future plans are to attend Iowa State University. 
Justin is receiving a full ride scholarship for the Multicultural Vision and uh, Scholarship through Iowa State University. He's also receiving white cords. He's a West Marshall Honor Graduate, and he's receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, Justin is receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next graduate is Connor Fott. His future plans are to enlist in the Iowa National Guard. Jose Fierros. His future plans are to attend Des Moines Area Community College to study auto technology. Our next senior is Christian Gavaretti. His future plans are to attend the University of Iowa to study pre-medicine. He's receiving general scholarships to Marshall, for the Marshalltown Community College ACT scholarship of $500. He's an NHS member, an honor graduate, and receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. He's receiving also the following foundation scholarships. Stone Gibbs, his future plans are to attend Northeast Iowa Community College in Calamer to attend the John Deere Ag Technician Program. He's receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service, an FFA honor cord, and is also receiving a West Marshall Citizenship Award. Our next senior is Eliza Girard. Her future plans are to attend DMAC to study interior design. She received West Marshall Awards as an honor West Marshall Honor Graduate and the West Marshall Citizenship Award. She was also this year's recipient of the Robert Smiley Award. Robert Smiley was a beloved coach who promoted the Iowa Girl. His work in the Iowa Girls Athletic Union paved the way for some of the most successful programs in the nation. The Smiley Award is given to a girl who exemplifies the Iowa spirit. Eliza certainly des is deserving of this award for her perseverance, hard work, and positive attitude. Additionally, these are the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships that Eliza received. Abigail Green's future plans are to attend Kansas State University to major in management and minor in marketing. Abigail will also earn a certificate in sports management. She's receiving the Iowa Junior Beef Breeders Association third overall heifer scholarship of $700, the Jack Pickard Memorial Scholarship, the Central Iowa Fair Scholarship of $1,000. She'll also be receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service, an FFA honor cord, a 4-H honor cord, and she has a West Marshall Citizenship Award. Abigail will also be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Peyton Halverson. Her future plans are to attend the University of Northern Iowa to pursue a degree in criminology. She's a White Cord recipient, a Student Council Leadership Award re uh, recipient, a member of NHS, a West Marshall Honor Grad, and received the West Marshall Citizenship Award. She's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Jaden Hart's future plans are to attend Kirkwood Community College to study interior design. She has received an MCC Academic Scholarship of $500, and as far as West Marshall Awards go, she's a White Cord recipient, an FFA Honor Cord winner, and a West Marshall Citizenship Award. In addition, she's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Daniel Henze. Daniel's future plans are to attend Des Moines Area Community College for Automotive Technology under the GM ASEP program. He's also receiving a West Marshall Citizenship Award. Our next West Marshall senior is Hannah Holmstein. Her future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College in the fall. Hannah plans to graduate with her Liberal Arts and Associates degree in December. She's receiving a White Cord Honor. She's an NHS member. She's a West Marshall Honor Graduate and receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, she's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Dominic Johnson. Dominic's future plans are to work as a landscaper or mechanic and maybe a career in HVAC. He's receiving a West Marshall Citizenship Award. Our next senior is Gabe Jones. His future plans are to attend Des Moines Area Community College. 
He's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Corinne Jorgensen. Her future plans are to attend the University of Northern Iowa to finish any prerequisite classes before attending Allen College of Nursing. After obtaining her bachelor's degree of science, she plans on attending anesthesiology school to become a nurse anesthetist. She's receiving the University of Northern Iowa Panther Impact Award, award for $4,000 over four years. She's a white cord recipient, an NHS member, an NICL academic award winner, a West Marshall honor graduate, and she's receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Corey is also getting the, the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Caleb Keegan plans to attend the University of Iowa to study computer science. He's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Regan Kerwood. Her future plans are to start at, what, at Marshalltown Community College to start her AA degree and then earn a bachelor's degree of business in counseling. Maya Kirk is going to attend Westminster College in Salt Lake City, Utah to major in environmental studies. She's receiving the Westminster College Presidential Scholarship for $96,000 over four years. She's also receiving the Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship for $8,000 for four years. She's receiving a white cord for community service hours, student council leadership award, NHS member, West Marshall honor graduate, and she's a West Marshall citizenship award winner. She's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Jack Larson. His future plans are to attend Iowa State University and earn a bachelor's degree. He's receiving the Hunt Family Trust uh, Iowa 4-H Foundation Scholarship for $1,000. He's also receiving the Jesse Nation, Jesse Nation Memorial Scholarship. Jesse was a West Marshall graduate who passed away several years ago. Jesse dedicated his time to West Marshall Wrestling. His family, along with the West Marshall Mat Club, has established a scholarship in his honor. Jack is one of the four people who has been selected for this $500 scholarship. He's also receiving uh, white cords, 4-H cords. He's a West Marshall Honor graduate and is receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. In addition, Jack is also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Emmanuel Lazard. Emmanuel's future plans are to attend Des Moines Area Community College. Emmanuel has received the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Colby McMorrin. Colby's future plans are to, to start at the Lineman Worker Technology Program at Northwest Iowa Community College in the summer of 2021. This fall, Colby will be part of the harvesting crew for the wheat harvest across the Midwest. Colby's receiving general scholarships from the Consumers Energy Line Worker Scholar, uh, Scholars Program. He's also a Jesse Nason Memorial Scholarship recipient and receiving a $1,000 scholarship from the Central Iowa Fair Board. He's a white cord recipient, FFA cord recipient, 4-H cord recipient, and received the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, Col Colby is the Bernie Sago Award winner for this year's senior class. Bernie Sago was uh, a man who worked and exemplified patriotic spirit with strong morals, living with professional qualities of honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship, believing that both games and life should be conducted by the rules. Congratulations to Colby. Additionally, Colby's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Myron Morley. His future plans are to join the military. Brian Morrison. Brian's future plans are to attend Simpson College and study business management. He's receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service, and he also serves as student council president for the class of 2020. In addition, Brian will be receiving the following scholarships. Our next senior is Grace Mustaine. Her future plans are to attend Arizona State University to major in forensic science. 
She's receiving the Provost Award for $58,000 over the next four years, the Next Generation Service Corps Award, which covers tuition costs after scholarships and other awards, and she's also a Jesse Nason Memorial Scholarship recipient. She's a White Cord uh, earner. She's a Student Council Leadership Award. She's a member of NHS. She is also a West Marshall Honor graduate. She's received the NICL Academic uh, uh, Award for Excellence, Times Republican Leader of Tomorrow, Marshall County Scholastic Achievement Award, and the West Marshall Citizenship Award. She's also a class valedictorian and received the Iowa Governor Scholarship Award. To be named an Iowa Governor Scholar in the state of Iowa is a great achievement, and each student gets to choose one influential teacher to attend the event with them. This year, Mr. Ardenbright was honored to be named for, this stu uh, for Grace's influential teacher. Grace was honored along with 400 high school seniors from across the state. The Iowa Governor Scholar is, awarded, is an award bestowed upon the very highest achiever for each school and also looks at the overall influence and character of the individual. Congratulations, Grace, for being this year's West Marshall Governor Scholar. She's also received the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next student is Kayla Poppenberg. Future plans are to attend Iowa State University and study business management. Kayla will be receiving a West Marshall Citizenship Award and an FFA Honor Cord. He will be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Peyton Pope's future plans are to attend a trade school and become an electrician. Caitlin Ron's future plans are to attend PCI and Ames to become a cosmetologist and an esthetician. James Rollsgard. His future plans are to attend Iowa State University to pursue a major in human resource management and continue his career with the Iowa Army National Guard. He's a White Cord recipient and a West Marshall Citizen Citizenship Award recipient. He's also receiving the Iowa Choral Directors Award which is an award given by the Vocal Music Department for Leadership, Excellence, and Outstanding Skill. He's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Awards. Our next senior is Cale Rudkin. His future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College for two years in the broadcasting program. After he graduates with his degree, he plans to go into the workforce as part of a sports broadcasting team. He's receiving the Jesse Nason Memorial Scholarship and is also a FFA Cord recipient and a West Marshall Citizenship Award recipient. Kale is also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Renee Schaefer. Renee's future plans are to attend Clark University to study pre-physical therapy. Renee will also continue her softball career at Clark. Renee will be the recipient of the American Citizenship Award. This is presented annually to a member of the graduating class through the Iowa Bar Association. This award is given to a student who demonstrates true outstanding qualities of American citizenship. This recipient is active in student and community activities and is a reliable and outstanding individual. Renee will be receiving the following scholarships. She'll be receiving the Clark University Academic Scholarship of $56,000 over four years and the Clark University Sports Scholarship of $16,000 over the next four years. Renee is a White Cord recipient, an NHS member, FFA Honor Cord. She'll also be receiving the West Marshall Honor Graduate Award and she's receiving a West Marshall Citizenship Award. She'll be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Our next senior is Hannah Schelling. Her future plans are to attend DMAC and transfer to Iowa State University to study horticulture and design. She's a West Marshall Citizenship Award recipient, and she's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Avril Sinning. Her future plans are to attend the University of Iowa with an undecided major with interest in the medical field. She's receiving general scholarships from the University of Iowa through the Iowa Scholars Award for $10,000 over the next four years. She's also a West Marshall Honor Graduate, an NICL Academic Award recipient, Times Republican Leader of Tomorrow, 
West Marshall Citizenship Award recipient, and Marshall County Scholastic Achievement Award. In addition, she's the co-valedictorian of the class of 2020, and she's also receiving the Des Moines Register Academic All-State Honor. The Des Moines Register is in 1986 sponsored the first annual academic recognition program in which high school seniors who excelled in the classroom received the same kind of recognition as those who starred in athletics. The state is divided up into five different geographic regions, and a small number of students are selected to represent the academic all-state team. Selection was based off of high school grades, ACT and SAT scores, a short essay, and student leadership and activity involvement. Congratulations, Avril. Avril is also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Jeremy Sly. Jeremy's future plans are to pursue opportunities in the workforce. Jeremy is receiving an FFA Honor Cord. Our next senior is Carlin Snyder. Her future plans are to attend Des Moines Area Community College at the Boone campus. She will be majoring in agribusiness and accounting. During her time at, D at DMAC, she will also be participating on the women's basketball team. Her general scholarships include the Marshall County Farm Bureau Scholarship of $1,000 and the D Des Moines Area Community College Foundation Scholarship. She's a White Cord recipient, an FFA Cord recipient, a West Marshall Honor Graduate, and is receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, Carlin will be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Scholarships. Jordan Stanton. Jordan's future plans are to attend Marshalltown Community College and study business. Jordan will also be walking on for the men's basketball team. Jordan will be receiving an FFA honor cord. Jacob Storjahan. Jacob's future plans are to start in an apprenticeship in the electrical field. Our next senior is Mikhail Storjahan. His future plans are to go to Marshalltown Community College and earn a degree in criminal justice. Then he will move to Chicago, Illinois and begin his career in law enforcement. He's receiving FFA cords and a West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, Mikhail is receiving the Semper Fidelis Award of Musical Excellence for his leadership and dedication to the West Marshall Band Program. Finally, Mikhail is also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Brennan Struthers. Brennan's future plans are attend Des Moines Area Community College and major in the construction trades. Brennan is an FFA Honor Cord member. He's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next West Marshall senior is Chloe Tuttle. Her future plans are to attend Drake University in the fall to major in public relations. Following college, she would like to pursue a career in public relation management for either a clothing or a magazine company. She's receiving the Drake University Presidential Scholarship for $88,000 over the next four years. She's also a White Cord recipient, a West Marshall Honor Graduate, and, a West Marshall, and receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. Additionally, each year, West Marshall chooses a female candidate to represent them at Girls State. Girls State is a leadership camp with an emphasis on government and service. Chloe exemplifies the spirit of, a, of service and upholds the highest standards of integrity. She's also receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Jacob Vodder's future plans are to complete a four-year apprenticeship programs in the electrical trades. Jacob is a white cord recipient for 60 hours of community service, and he's earned an FFA honor cord. The West Marshall Foundation would like to do a quick shout out to Jake for his work on the gym clocks that were made last year. Jake made most of our clocks from our historic gym floor. So thank you very much, Jacob, for your service to West Marshall. And he will be receiving the, the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Dylan Viola. His future plans are to join the workforce or look into his college options. He's an FFA Honor Cord recipient. Pearson Waltemeyer will be, re will be attending the University of Northern Iowa to study elementary education. 
She is receiving the School Administrators of Iowa Award for Excellence in Education. She's also receiving a white cord for 60 hours of community service. She's a West Marshall Honor Graduate and she's receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award. In addition, she'll be receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. Our next senior is Quentin Ward. His future plans are to join the workforce and continue to weld. He's receiving the uh, FFA honor cords and he's a white cord recipient for 60 hours of community service. Ashlyn Watson. Her future plans are to attend the University of Iowa to receive a degree in English secondary education. She hopes to teach English in Arizona. She's receiving the Rho Alpha Scholarship for $250 and is also a West Marshall White Cord recipient, Student Council Leadership Award, NHS member, West Marshall Honor Graduate, FFA Cord recipient, and West Marshall Citizenship Award recipient. Additionally, she's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation scholarships. George Wingert. George's future plans are to join the workforce. He's receiving an FFA Honor Cord. Braden White's future plans are to attend Iowa State University, and he is receiving an FFA Honor Cord. Finally, Quentin Wilder. His future plans are to attend Simpson College and study sports administration. Quentin is receiving the West Marshall Citizenship Award, and he's receiving the following West Marshall Foundation Awards. We want to thank all the seniors for their dedication. Also, we want to thank our parents and our high school staff for their years of guidance that you've provided. Congratulations, seniors. Good luck in your future. Good luck, seniors.